you have a corrugator muscle that pulls medially, you have the frontalis muscle that pulls superiorly, you have orbicularis oculi that pulls inferiorly. So how about these vectors? Give us an example, make that real for us. So yeah, I, I do think a lot of people don't immediately gel with that word because a vector is a, it's a term from physics, it's force and direction. So every muscle in your face has, it has the ability to impose a force on the skin or on a feature and then it also has a direction in which it pulls. So the combination of force and direction will tell you where the resting position of a structure is. So eyebrow is the best example. If you think about your eyebrow, um, it is held in position by four different muscles. You have a corrugator muscle that pulls medially, you have the frontalis muscle that pulls superiorly, you have orbicularis oculi that pulls inferiorly. All of those muscles are imposing a resting tension. There are also some ligaments and fat pads and obviously the elasticity in the skin is also involved, but for now just think about the muscles. Would an example be where you have those little like rainbow lines that come just above? Yeah, so if you overlift an eyebrow, probably the, the, mo the one people will resonate the most with will be Spock brow because then you've, you've got a depression in the middle and an over extension, over uh, lift laterally. So that sign, medial depression, lateral elevation is a disruption of the vectors that's so significant that we, we don't think it looks natural. Um, but there are many, many examples. You sometimes see it. If you look closely at some patients, maybe in the age 45, slim, who have orbicularis oculi treated, so they're just having their, uh, their crow's feet treated. When they smile, they get a slightly lower high point on their cheek and they just don't look it's not like a glowing smile anymore. It's slightly depressed. That's a very subtle vector that you can look for as well. Um, but every, every area that you treat, look out for the vectors. Think about what, what the net effect on the collection of muscles affecting that area will be. And, and then actually look for it in your after photos and you'll see the, these little shapes.